what's his next here on the list supreme and ramoa this is interesting just because um maybe a supreme going in a different direction maybe a supreme trying to level up and trying to um subconsciously um influence their young fan base to get a passport and start traveling the world or maybe it's just another way for supreme to milk uh their branding and to add another point of um to add another um what do you call it revenue income stream for their brand overall because i think if you guys are familiar with supreme you'll know that usually especially if you um, listen to what james jebbia says they usually try and partner up with people if they can't necessarily produce or manufacture the thing themselves they'd rather go and partner up with the best in the industry and just collaborate instead of just doing it themselves hence why you get so many note face um, jackets at the time even though you're seeing supreme ramp up the outerwear it's no coincidence now that over the years especially with the investment especially with the popularity especially with the sales supreme have been able to kind of ramp up the little production in terms of their down jackets which are essentially close enough to rivaling maybe the quality of some of the entry level um north face you see out there so don't be surprised if maybe in the next few years you see supreme completely ditch north face and not do anything with them anymore but that probably won't happen because north face is so intrinsically tied to new york tied to the graffiti scene tied to skateboarding tied to supreme so that kind of synergy in terms of collaboration might mean it might just hold might just hang around for a while yet but there is it's obvious to see that there are lev they are leveling up their own in-house um outerwear and it's maybe get to a point where they can probably do a lot more themselves in in-house than they can do with to north face even though i'm sure north face probably gives them the keys to the factory in terms of whatever they want because you know supreme have probably been maybe the single-handedly the most you know influential part of north face's success over the last few years but the remote collaboration is interesting because Obviously, Ramoa is, you know, uh, industry standard in terms of um, luggage. Um, but they're also a very high price point, right? I think you can't get a Ramoa, especially some of the hard shell cases, for less than maybe 300 quid or maybe more than that, right? So they go for a lot of money. They're mostly used by people who tend to travel quite often because of the nature of the bags and of course, sorry, the nature of how they how they manufacture how they put together the fact that you know they're essentially indestructible can get chucked from high heights and thrown all over the place and they tend to kind of keep their shape and um, they're fairly robust they have a very good warranty scheme and they're generally just quite expensive right so if if, if that is the case you definitely you tend to going to be somebody who's going to use it a lot more often or if you can afford to have it as a piece of um furniture in your house you're probably going to be able to have the necessary income to allow you to you know to throw 400 or 300 quid down the drain but I'm interested to see how this kind of marries up to with Supreme's current clientele, which is, you know, probably kids between the ages of, what, 13 to 25, maybe, um, who are generally not making that much money. If they are making a lot of money, it's probably, you know, due to the odd flip here and there. Not odd, but, you know, mostly flips of, of trainers that they're reselling or maybe some other um, nefarious uh, things they're doing on the side. But for the most part, I wouldn't necessarily uh, think of the Supreme customer nowadays are being quite well traveled if anything the most people i've seen carrying these bags which is maybe ironic or maybe a little bit um um disappointing to the people at supreme the people that I've seen really using it often are the people that will tend to get supreme for cheap or tend to get it supreme for free they're quote unquote friends and family um the, the influencers that kind of you know um, wear the stuff or get given preferential treatment to kind of come in and buy ahead of time they're the people that are using it more often and they tend to be the people that get flown around places for free or they get to attend to events here and there or get flown out for fashion weeks and to do, you know, to go to, you know, um, Art Basel, Miami and shit, Miami Art Basel. Those are the people that I generally tend to do it. So I'm not sure if I've, if you, if you've seen an uptake in like random sporty kids who wear box logos turning up at Gatwick Airport or at Heathrow or Stansted. I don't necessarily see that. And I travel quite often, um, at least probably four or five times a year, especially when I'm going to my little European trips. And I don't see anyone maybe except with the exception of maybe a couple of asian people here and there carrying the supreme luggage actually using it as a luggage thing i don't see anybody at, at all maybe in the, in the states it's different because people can travel domestic quite often but i'm interested to see how it kind of rolls out and who it's going to appeal to or maybe it's just again maybe just another way to kind of expand the supreme brand overall but it's a very odd collaboration i think in that respect um i know now east pack are doing um luggage i saw it on sense recently east pack did some luggage but this supreme film i'm not really sure about um but anyway this is, this is the second one or the third one is the second one the first one was the one with all the supreme written in big bold letters right in the black and red this might be the second one so the second collaboration i think was supreme 
ba, 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 ba. yeah this is the second one from the last year's 2018 one so this is a really cool lookbook i think this is maybe someone from the paris store um in the lookbook which was pretty interested with their dog and the supreme luggage here on the on some steps it's covered in this spider pattern which looks really cool i think looking wise it maybe what do you call it spider web or do you call it smash glass i say spider web right it's definitely spider web pattern all over the top of it which again looks really cool you've got the supreme look box logo here at the bottom there which looks really amazing as well i'm a big fan of it um have they spoken about what the inspiration was behind the black web let's see if i can find it actually Let's just take this off the screen because I would like to know what who done that. Was there an artist that collaborated with them on it or just something they just did randomly? Because I'm quite a big fan of that. Let's see what Supreme News says about it themselves and not read what the regurgitated type he's put out sometimes. So this is from Supreme website. Supreme Remoa. This for Supreme has worked with Remoa on a custom version of the aluminium check-in L suitcase and carry-on size plus suitcase made exclusively for supreme the suitcase features silver aluminium bodies with black anodized pattern and logo custom logo jacket viscose lining multi-wheel system wheels tsa combination locks two internal flex driver systems and a co-branded leather luggage tag awesome available in, in supreme stores da, da, da. so there's no no indication of who actually designed um the the suitcase or who actually applied that illustration but i'm a big fan of it i think it looks pretty cool you've got two two sides you've got maybe the check-in luggage size and the cabin luggage size which you know probably the most popular ones out of them again all aluminium in black as well looks very cool very interesting i'm a big fan of this of the black of the al silver aluminium anyway and of course on the inside you've got supreme written all over it and loads of supreme custom tags on it which i think um wasn't it i think the person gearing this up i think is remoa's lbmh isn't it owned i'm pretty sure that alexandra the kid the son of bernard arno is the one that's heading up the remoa um you know creative collaborations thing that they're doing at the moment so this might mean that we're going to see a lot more other a lot other a lot more other brands do like well, we are we haven't we have innovated right we saw off white do it too so we probably might see them really ramp up the production with other brands in terms of making co-branded pieces of luggage but again i just don't know the, the brands have to be very specific about who does it because I don't know whether or not the fans can even afford this sort of thing, whether they, they need it. Um, most of those kids will just be wearing, you know, just be using just some random luggage they bought at TJ Maxx and shit. They probably won't be, you know, wanting to spend 300 or 400 pound plus on some Supreme Remoa luggages, which again is a mistake because this will probably last them longer than anything else would because, you know, if you're a kid, maybe those kids, you have to give them more benefit of the doubt because they might be, because if I was a kid, I'd probably be 10, I'd probably be more... I'd probably be more inclined to buy a backpack from Carhartt and Supreme rather than to buy a backpack from, you know, some random sports brand, right? You'd want to get it from the brand that actually makes high quality backpacks because it's going to last you a long time. It's going to be something that's going to earn you cool points in school, you know, and if you've run into some um into some bad times you can always flip it and sell it and sell it and get some get a bit of money out of it you can't exactly resell an umbra bag you got from Argos, can you? So that might be part of it and I know I didn't do that when I was younger, I tend to buy loads of shitty backpacks. And then when I got into the scene, I started to get a bit more understanding of quality. Then you start kind of getting into buying those sort of things and you start to, you know, fantasize about buying a Visvin bag and shit. And then you realize how much it is. And you say, you know what, I'm going to, I'm just going to sell for the car. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like it, man. I, I like the suitcase. Again, I'm interested to see how this kind of is uh, um, received by the overall fan base. I think it's more interesting this one because the other one was obviously just essentially just another piece of furniture. Someone's going to leave in their house, you know, Supreme written all over the fucking suitcase it's something that's a bit bait but this is a lot more low-key a lot more in the direction of people that actually want to use it for an actual travel accessory mm, again interesting to see how, how and interesting to see whether or not it actually will inf influence kids to actually start traveling and going places which would be cool to see really um just you know even if it's just like kids start traveling um the world or traveling europe just to do what i do in terms of clubs but do it in terms of streetwear shops or in terms of scenes or in terms of record stores that would be awesome right um, even department stores imagine a kid decides to travel all the way to the states to go and visit a nordstrom or to go to visit you know derby street market or to go to see the golf wine store or to go see the original supreme store Do you know i mean that would be pretty cool if that was actual thing which i'm not sure it is but you know that would be cool that there is hope there but anyway check it out if you're that way inclined it's going to be out when i think this thursday right yeah so it's available on supreme stores online so september november 14th sorry japan it's available to 16th and it's available in all remote stores on the 16th too which is interesting rollout but i think that might be the only co-branded or collaborated stuff that supreme has done that's available in the actual store itself north face collaborations aren't available in the store they're only available in supreme vans the same thing nike the same thing um 
Yeah, it might be the only collaboration they do that's available in the actual store they collaborate with. So there must be a lot of money in it. And also, it's probably an indication that, you know, most of the people buying that suitcase will be Romoa fans as opposed to Supreme fans. So, you know, there is maybe some um, synergy there in that respect. But yeah, check it out if you're that way inclined. Supreme Romoa collab- collection number two, I would say, um, after the sec- after the first one that was really 